Hello Family Church. I trust that you are doing really, really well. And I've got a short word of encouragement to share with you today. But before I do, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has joined with us in these 21 days of prayer and fasting at the start of January 2021. We believe this is going to be a really significant time. We thank you for standing with us. We thank you for uh, making this a, a together thing, that it's not just a few people that are doing their thing, but together as a church family, we Um, Through our prayers, we're preparing the way for what God wants to do. That's in our lives individually, corporately as a church, but even on a global scale, there's things that we sense that God is doing and we want to be a part of preparing the way for what God is doing through this time of fasting and prayer. So thank you for being involved with this. Um, What I want to share on today is that God is working behind the scenes. He is working behind the scenes of your life personally. In Romans 8 verse 28, it says that God works all things together together. For the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So if you're a believer today, then you qualify for God working all things together in your life for your good. He is your loving heavenly father. He is a good, good father. He is the one who looks at you and sees you as the apple of his eye. He's the one who hides you under the shadow of his wing. You're uh, hedged behind and before by him. And he has laid his hand upon you. He is your strong tower. He is the one uh, to whom you run and find shelter. He is your refuge and your strength. And it is good to know, isn't it, that um, behind the scenes of our lives, even when we don't understand what's going on, the circumstances can seem um, just completely out of line with what we believe that God wants for us sometimes. Um, Things can be challenging. We can go through trials or persecutions or just not get the answers that we expect when we pray. But in all of that, we trust that God is working behind the scenes of our lives. Because the truth is that we know the will of God. We know the will of God because we have the word of God. And so when things on earth don't line up with the will of God, then we pray and we pray the will of God into being. Um, God is working behind the scenes Um, in the heavenly realm, in the spiritual realm. God is already working um, his will. And when we pray, we declare his will over our situations, over our circumstances, um, over the things that are going on in life. And uh, we will see his will come to pass in the earthly realm. Now the children of Israel saw this on a corporate level um, uh, when they were in captivity in Babylon and they were praying that the heart of King Cyrus would be moved by God and indeed his heart was moved by God to send the children of Israel back to their homeland to rebuild the temple, to rebuild the city walls and to take back the land that had been stolen from them. And God's people were praying that this would happen. This was the will of God. And then, of course, it came to pass in the earthly realm. So it was already happening in the spirit realm. And what what happened is the prayers of God's people softened King Cyrus's heart. Uh, It prepared the way for the children of Israel to go um, back to their homeland. It caused the children of Israel to have all the resources that they needed. It caused them to be together and to to be strong and to, to... for this to be a supernatural thing. It caused their enemies to be defeated before their very eyes um, and for them to be able to take the ground that God had ordained for them to take. And and so we mustn't ever underestimate the power of our prayers as we pray for our government, as we pray um, according to God's will that we would enter into a time of of rebuilding and of taking back ground that the enemy has stolen and indeed taking new ground Um, as we pray that Jesus would be at the very center of his church that we would stand strong against every attack of the enemy that we would be a people who were united and together like never before as we pray all of those things they're things that God's already doing in the spiritual and those things will come to pass in the earthly realm Matthew 16 verse 19 Jesus said I will give you the keys of heaven's kingdom realm to forbid on earth those things which are forbidden in heaven and to release on earth those things which are released in heaven so simply as we pray let's agree with what God is doing in heaven let's agree with the will of God 
and we will see his will come to pass in the earthly realm. Have fun praying and uh, and I just encourage you, let's just, let's do this. Let, let's, God's kingdom is advancing and let's be right at the forefront of all that God is doing. God bless you.